Personally, I felt I was really excited because it's always been a dream to be like a head softball coach at a program and to like be the change that softball needs and student athletes need. Of course, naturally I was a little nervous, um, but I was very excited to like come back home to a place that gave me so much and helped me become like who I am. So I was very excited to be back and to give back to a community that gave me a lot. So I transferred in the spring of uh, 2017 um, and right away the team was super welcoming. All the other athletes on other teams were very welcoming, introducing themselves, helping me because I was a little lost. And then, um, and then I did end up playing volleyball here as well. So that was um, very interesting. It was kind of like I haven't played in so many years and now I'm playing again, uh, but it just opened up like more experiences for me. Um, on both sides of the fall and the spring type of sports and how to manage that. Bloomfield has given me like time management skills and the ability to like keep going and to have a community that had my back. I went through a lot of personal stuff back home, um, but being able to come back to a supportive environment just helped me finish my degree. I didn't think I was gonna finish, but I did. So always whenever I've come back to support like former teammates that were still playing, it's always been like a real warm welcome. And that's why eventually I ended up moving to New Jersey. It's because of Bloomfield. Bloomfield gave me a family, like a home away from home. So to be back and to give back is like the, one of the most exciting parts about taking over this program. Right, so I first starting off like coaching and stuff, I was giving a lot of lessons and that eventually started me like creating my own business with Swaggy Softball, helping out youth sports, doing drills and skills and that helped me learn how to get through to athletes in any avenue that needed to be so that they could perform at you know, the level that they need to, to be successful. Um, when I was at College of Staten Island, it was just like, it was a very good transitional period to understand what happens behind the scenes for student athletes. Um, all the preparation for practices, all the communicating, managing schedules, still trying to find the best practice times, uh, meals, everything like that. That was the first, um, and it was a good transition. Like Tracy did a fantastic job, like showing me like how to keep it fun even though, um, and when at the same time. So that was good. As I got to Fairleigh Dickinson, I became full-time there. So it was, I was definitely a lot more hands-on and really understood more of the importance of the people that you have around you and the connections that you make and networking. I was able to go to California, Colorado. We went to the convention in Texas. So I was able to network a lot and to talk to and like jump bounce ideas off of phenomenal coaches in the softball world and it start and they helped me gain a lot of confidence in myself and how to portray myself um, so all that experience definitely led me to where I am today and how I was confident in taking this role and being able to provide an environment that's positive that allows student athletes to be themselves but to still be challenging and to still go hard Well, things to look forward is that we are going to go hard, right? We're going to hustle, we're going to hold ourselves and each other accountable, we're going to be resilient, and we're going to be disciplined. Uh, the biggest thing is to prepare them for the, not the next four years, it's for the next 40 years. So having those key values and key principles in our program should help them in anything that they want to accomplish. The other things to look forward to is how we're going to impact the community around us, being bigger than just the game. Make Bloomfield not only Bloomfield College, but Bloomfield whole as a town, um, unified and together and be able to support each other in the high school, in the college, in the rec programs. I want to make an impact in those and let them know, hey, Bloomfield College supports you um, and kind of make it more of a community. Uh, you could expect us to still be the same old Bloomfield, the underdogs that don't stop fighting for what they want. You, um, this group that we have this year that I walked into, I've been really blessed with, they are hungry and they want to make 
some noise after all everything that they've been through. It, it's time for them to stand up and they're already standing up pretty tall. They're ready to work hard. They've made me better. I've been here for like two weeks. So they've pushed me to go outside my comfort zone and push them to be better because we know that the goals that we want to accomplish, that we got to go at them day by day. I would like to thank Jesus Christ. Um, without him, I would be absolutely nowhere. There's no chance that I would be standing on my two feet. I have to thank the, um, the coach before me, Phil. He was a big mentor and why I got into coaching softball. Uh, I'd like to thank Sheila for the opportunity and all my friends and family and the people who have poured into my life. I mean, it's not, it's always about the people around you, who you could go, who could, who you could take with you when you go to successful places and the amount of support I have, um, it's, a, it's such a blessing.